Hey you guys, it's your favorite realtor Timberland and I am back with another episode of Property Pro Tips. I know that it's been a while, but I'm back. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't go missing for um, too long again. But yeah, like always, make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment. Make sure you follow my Instagram below. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Today's episode, I am going to give you three tips from a realtor's point of view, of course, that I would give my client um, on how to prepare for their open house. So yeah, let's get started. So tip number one, declutter and depersonalize. Make sure that you declutter your home. You don't want potential buyers coming into a home that's cluttered, toys everywhere, um, clothes everywhere. You want to make sure that the client is able to envision themselves in the home. So yeah, declutter. Make sure the home smells good. Make sure it's welcoming. Put out fresh flowers. Maybe light a candle. Um, make sure everything is clean top to bottom. So yeah, declutter, depersonalize will help the potential buyer envision themselves in that home. Tip number two, carb appeal. Carb appeal, carb appeal, carb appeal. That is so, so important. Um, the exterior of your home is a first impression of your home. So make sure that the grass is mowed. Make sure that you, your exterior lights are, are working. Make sure that um, you have, you remove any dead plants. Put some potted plants outside, some fresh potted plants. Make sure you have a nice welcome mat. Um, make sure that your curb appeal is <laughs> top notch because Carpet pill is extremely important. Carpet pill is what's going to catch those potential people who may just be driving down a street. And that's what gives them their first impression of your home. If your carpet pill is um, overgrown grass and dead shrubbery, um, that just shows that you don't take pride in your home. It shows that, you know, you don't care. You don't care about your first impression. And I'm sure we all care about first impressions. So um, having that that great curb appeal, it shows like you take pride in your home and it goes right along with tip number one, making sure like lighting the candles, having fresh flowers, making sure that the client is able to envision themselves in a home. Um, so yeah, that kind of flows right into that. And then tip number three, inside of your home, um, right along with lighting those candles, make sure that you are making sure that the interior looks just as good as the exterior. Make sure that you fix those leaky faucets. Make sure that you are changing out those burnout light bulbs. Make sure you're touching up scuff marks on the wall. Make sure um, if you have a spot on the floor, maybe a sand on the floor, try to clean it up. Maybe put a rug over it. Um, just make sure that the home is presentable. Make sure it doesn't stink. Take the trash out. Um, open the blinds. Um, turn the fan on. Make sure that the AC or, or heater, depending on what time of the year it is, is on a good, comfortable temperature and you just want to create that welcoming environment but yeah by focusing on the interior and the exterior which is that curb appeal in the interior you know first impressions it will definitely leave a positive impact on the client it will help them again envision themselves in that home and it also shows that they are getting a home that was loved a home that was not um a home that was well maintained and it's a home that you know the that the previous owner really loved and they cared for that home um so yeah those are my three tips make sure that you like and subscribe again um follow me on instagram for more tips and i'm gonna keep these coming every sunday consistency is key so i'm gonna keep them coming if you like them make sure again you like them and give me a thumbs up and yeah, that's another episode for Property Pro Tips. Thanks for tuning in. And if you are looking for a realtor in the Louisiana area, give me a call. I'm going to drop my details below. I would love to help you find a new home here in 2024. Thanks for tuning in. Bye. <laughs>